Pack God, the god at packing, the packing god. Yes, that guy who packed Mr. Beast, Isaac Y, and EDP 445. Let's talk about Pack God. This video will be strictly on his success after the drama, with no mention of leg or anything that happened prior. I have made two separate videos if you're interested in the drama behind Packod and Leg and why they split up. Packod has had some insane success after the whole drama. He is one of the fastest growing YouTubers of all time, almost hitting top 500 fastest growing channels in the month of January alone. Considering the fact that there are over 50 million channels constantly growing at any time, the fact that Packod is in the top 500 is absolutely insane. His content is constantly improving, only helping to grow his subscriber count, which is now about to surpass even the amount of subscribers that Isaac Y has. This is the success story of Packod and how he became one of the fastest growing YouTubers on the entire platform. There's this YouTuber named Packod who apparently roasts people. I watched a couple of his videos and I think he sucks at roasting. <laughs> What are you laughing at? Shut your ugly ass the fuck up! Holy s***! You like a Jack Frost with a zesty Edgar! Get your ass off! We like Victor from Despicable Me if he was in the Upside Down! What are you talking about? Let's see. Okay. Go ahead. I am yours to roast. Skipping to the end of the controversy, Packard started his channel with a complete slate, no subscribers, and no viewers. There, he would post his first few videos, the Leg Exposed series, and his diss tracks. His leg diss track, as stated in its name, was a diss track on his previous best friend, Leg, after the controversy. The second diss track he posted, the Alex Wasabi diss track, was pandered to a similar audience that the Void channel was made for. These first few videos gained Pack out a couple thousand subscribers, slowly starting to grow his channel once more from nothing. Now he does, he goes on to say, quote unquote, I don't want to just kick him off the channel after all that stuff which I don't really understand what he's saying, but however, he is admitting to actually kicking me off the channel by saying that, because that's what he did. So he's admitting that he literally kicked me off the channel, but I mean, he didn't just kick me off the channel. I mean, he kicked me off of every single platform that we own, which I've you know, said multiple times. On September 26th of 2022, shortly after the Alex Wasabi diss track was posted, KSI would upload a video going through his subreddit. A user posted the drama between Packard and Leg to the r slash KSI subreddit. This post contained information on Void, explaining the drama between Packard and Leg. It was asked in the post if KSI could help Packard throughout his whole drama, and what KSI did is absolutely crazy. He spent over 4 minutes covering the Packard situation and showing his support for him, which amounted to over one quarter of the video's runtime being dedicated to Packard. KSI's shadow skyrocketed the popularity of Packard, putting him to heights he had never seen before. KSI was at first skeptical on whether or not they could get Packard to beat Void's subscriber count. Let's subscribe, yo, let's get him to over 100k, man. What, what's Void on? 458 subscribers, okay, that might be a bit hard. But you know what, fuck it. If we can get Void to have less subscribers than Packard, then we've done a fucking mad. What he did not expect is the amount of fans coming to support Packard, ultimately blowing him up overnight. In about a week, Packard went from having a respectable 40,000 subscribers to almost 400,000 subscribers. He would then only continue to grow with the help of KSI's shadow and his other massively successful content. Okay, alright, you know what? Best way to sort this is just to subscribe to Packard. Yeah, let's just make Packard the f go. I got you, bro. I subscribed. Let's subscribe. Yo, let's get him to over 100k, man. So let's try and do it. Literally, everyone watching, just subscribe to Pat God. Let's go, man. Subscribe to Pat God. Let's go. You know what? If you want to watch the rest, go on Punk God's channel. Subscribe and watch it the rest because, bro, my man's going in. I don't even want to watch it all here because I don't want to give you guys an excuse not to go on this channel. Fucking Pat God, you went in, my G. You went fucking in. Oh my God, not flow. The shadow that KSI had given Packard gave him the needed boost in popularity he deserved. Packard would continue to make packing videos, managing to pack Jadeon, several e-girls, and even I Show Speed, in which he'll get into another controversy with, which I'll go over later. Before the shadow, his videos gained a few thousand to a few hundred thousand views, while after the boost in popularity, his videos maintained a minimum of 1 million views. Not too shabby for a guy who started off with no platform to his name a month prior. You ever heard of Pat God? Who? Pat God? 
Never heard of him. He's, he's been in a couple of uh, interviews. Hey, yo, yo, what's up, guys? What's up, guys? First off, Dom, thank you so much for having me on, bro. And, you know, uh, second off, EDP, you know, I'm actually kind of glad you don't know who I am. <laughs> hey, yo, EDP, I wear dickle pants. Now shut your Indian cricket, river ribbon, spinner fingers, stupid bitch, and Genji, main mega brain rap, I beat you in a cane. Hack you the onion ring, burger cane, mustard packet, UPS employee of the month. Waluigi, dirty, sweetie, love Isaac, hey, Panini, run my dick and see a genie. Demon Slayer, howdy, neighbor, 353 pound, four that player, look at that ass I swear if you don't shut up for once in your god life. Why is Wednesday's useless step cousin Sunday talking to me right now? Seriously, look at your haircut and check yourself. I'm not even talking to you. I do not know why you're piping up so loud to me. Seriously, get over yourself. Bro, oh my on god. my life, this is why men deserve nothing. This is my last resort. Suffocation, no breathing. In fact, in fact, in fact, hold on for a second, hold on for a second, hold on for a second, yo, see, touch your head up, touch your head up, touch your head up, tell me why the bottom of your nose are like the Discord logo. Pacon would create and post a plethora of videos, helping him keep the momentum and subscriber growth the Shadow had brought him. He had pledged to KSI and his new fans that he wouldn't stop making content and that he'll keep on improving his videos. Pacon now had the fans of Void and KSI in his back and he promised not to disappoint. And oh boy, did he excel in his promise. Yo, what is going on, everybody? Bro, let me just say it first. All right, let me just say it first, all right? Every single person watching this and every single person subscribed to this channel, bro, I, I love you. Like, no weird shit, I love you. This channel, just this morning, was at like 37K. And as of recording this, we're at like almost 180,000 subscribers. And it's just crazy, okay? Like, it's crazy. I just want to say to everybody new who's just subscribed to the channel, you know, welcome. Thank you for coming. I, I will continue to pump out the best content that I physically can. And I'm not going to let this, this you know, incredible opportunity go to waste. I'm going to keep grinding and working my ass off every single day for y'all. And hopefully can entertain y'all in, in the best way possible. Seriously. He would go on to make many songs, both by himself and collaborating with people such as Isaac Y, Soft Willy, and Quandel Dangle. Much like how he was the sole producer for the diss tracks posted on the Void channel, his talent in music carried over to create some of his best songs yet. Packard only continued to raise the bar in terms of the quality of his videos and songs. What pack? Let's get it. Fuck around with pack and I'ma teach you out some lesson with the auto that you sensitive, so put yourself a different saying welcome to the group. Get the cringy shit up on my face. Just like that you ask you get an anal pro bow. Yeah, I to keep the mask up cause he's looking like my nuts sack. They read the height level of my fucking butt crack. Don't be looking like you gave a bulk up to a muskrat. Grub looking like a valor pro with a hunch. Yeah, if you got the drip, but he ain't got no bitches. Cancel down a two cause all your beats were fucking misses. Fuck it, mug it, chuck it. During the insane success that Packard has seen, he reached out to Keemstar. While the information is little known, my guess is that he first reached out to Keem to talk about the Packard and leg drama, but what came out of the conversation was 10 times better than that. On the 23rd of January, an announcement was made on Twitter. The announcement, posted by Keemstar, hinted at the launch of a new collaboration, Packard and Keem. The channel, aptly named Packard and Keem, was later revealed to be a drama podcast. Packard, who was known to be an instigator, and Keemstar, who owned the Drama Alert channel, went on interviewing two people who were in a drama for content. The first video posted by the two was a 50 minute long podcast. Completely unrelated, but my cat is on my desk. Anyways, it went on to pit Jalen and Cheeto, two creators who were in an on and off drama. This podcast was wild with allegations such as anti-semitism and transphobia being brought up. All right, time out, time out, time out. Let me address this right now. Okay, Jalen, is it true what Cheeto is accusing you of that you were friends with someone who sexed a 12 year old? Wait, 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 right? wait, 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 okay, wait, wait. I responded to someone and I was like, you know what? F you. I hope World War II happens to religious people. What the f like What did the f Jews so, do to you? What did the Jewish people do to you?
And I, I deleted that reply like immediately after, like a second after, but it was screenshotted. Oh, what does that have to do with Jewish people? Yeah, though? what, what the f do? With and I apologize multiple times. Uh, Jalen, what does that have to do with Jewish <laughs> people? Why did you attack Jewish people? Look, like I'm I, gonna tell you, I'm did, Jewish. I'm Jewish right now, okay? I'm Jewish. I, I, so I you want attack, my? You want me to get killed? Really? No, that, that was not a serious. That was not a serious take. As of the writing of the script. Packard posted an unprecedented and unexpected video just a day ago. This video was posted on his much smaller channel, Packard TV, which was first created to post his more random and unedited videos. The most recent video he posted, however, was of a much different nature. This video was made to expose one of the biggest and most prominent creators, I Show Speed. I Show Speed is illegally harassing thousands of smaller YouTubers, including many of his own fans, for his own financial gain. Yes, guys, this is not a joke. For the last couple of months behind the scenes, I Show Speed has been compliant in some very shady, despicable behavior that would lead to thousands of YouTubers like myself having our channels and livelihoods threatened. Now, I mentioned earlier that Packard had packed I Show Speed live on stream and posted it to his channel. This video is in fact his most watched video sitting at over 5.5 million views. The video then got copyright claimed by a shady Portuguese online marketing, communications and copywriting firm by the name of Thumb Media. This company has been making waves on YouTube for the longest time now, copyright claiming any video with iShowSpeed in it. This company was thought to be a shady company making these claims on behalf of iShowSpeed without actually contacting him and instead pocketing all of the money made. However, as pointed out by Packard and unknown to many, iShowSpeed posted an intentionally unclear and short video on his smallest channel, admitting that he had been behind the Thumb Media copyright claiming allegations. iShowSpeed, the multimillionaire, not only supported a cryptocurrency scam, but is now known as the guy who was stealing monetization of videos featuring himself. Keep in mind, Packard's video was not only fair use, but he owned the rights to it, where Packard was the one mainly talking and reacting to iShow Speed. This company was claiming thousands of YouTubers' videos for even mentioning or including iShow Speed's name in the title, something which, by the way, is completely illegal and violates all sorts of different copyright laws. Several large YouTubers, such as Omni, Internet AJ, Jabroni TV, Internet Anarchist, they have all come out complaining about this abhorrent abuse of the system against their channels. Well, why the hell is this company false claiming all these videos on Speed's behalf? Like, something doesn't make any sense here, right? Now, this is where it gets interesting. Interesting because a couple of days ago, Speed uploads a YouTube short on his smallest, least active YouTube channel, and he basically admits that he was actually behind this corrupt and horrible behavior the entire time. Packard now stands at an insane 1.4 million subscribers, while just five months ago he was at zero. He is about to beat YouTubers who have been doing content for years now, such as Isaac White, who sits at 1.5 million subscribers himself. Packard has continued to grow at a rapid rate, and his content only gets better. He deserves all of the success he has. Long live the packing god. This has been Isaac White Funnies, and until next time, leave me alone.